So you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, and it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. Welcome back for some more examples of determining if a graph represents a one-to-one -one function. Hopefully you already watched part one. If not, there's a link on the screen. To test to see if a graph is a one-to-one -one function, we first want to test to see if the graph represents a function by using the vertical line test. If we cross a vertical line across the graph and it does not intersect the graph in more than one point, it passes the vertical line test and is a function. Once we know the graph represents a function, we can use the horizontal line test to see if the function is a one-to-one -one function. It's the same test, but we use a horizontal line instead of a vertical line. If a horizontal line does not intersect the graph in more than one point, it passes and the function is a one-to-one -one function. So let's go through several more examples. We first want to check to see if the given graph here is a function. Notice if we sketch several vertical lines across this graph, they would not intersect the graph in more than one point, which means it passes the vertical line test and this graph is a function. So now that we know it's a function, we can test to see if it's a one-to-one -one function. Let's just make a note here that it's a function. Now we'll perform the same test, but we'll use a horizontal line. So we'll sketch several horizontal lines across this graph. Notice how these lines do intersect the red graph in more than one point, therefore it fails the horizontal line test, and this is not a one-to-one -one function. So it is a function, but it's not one-to-one. -one. Let's go ahead and test this graph here now. Again, we're going to start with the vertical line test, so we'll sketch several vertical lines across this graph. Notice right here in the middle, these vertical lines are intersecting the graph in more than one point, Therefore, it fails the vertical line test, which means this is not a function. If it's not a function, it's not going to be a one-to-one -one function either. So far, neither of these two are one-to-one -one functions. Now let's look at this graph here. It's a piecewise defined function. The right side of each of these segments is an open circle. So we'll start with the vertical line test. Now it looks like at the end of these segments, it would fail the vertical line test, but it's not going to because, as I mentioned a moment ago, at let's say x equals five, we have an open point here and a closed point here. So the function is not defined on this open point, it's defined on the closed point. So it does pass the vertical line test and is a function. So we can go ahead and test to see if it's also a one-to-one -one function. So now we'll perform the horizontal line test. Notice when the horizontal lines intersect those segments, there would be an infinite number of points on that segment, and therefore these horizontal lines do intersect the graph in more than one point. So again, while this is a function, it's not a one-to-one -one function. So we only have one more graph to test. So we'll start with the vertical line test. Notice none of these vertical lines intersect the graph in more than one point, therefore it passes the vertical line test and the graph is a function. And now to test to see if it's a one-to-one -one function, we'll use the horizontal line test. So we'll sketch several horizontal lines across this graph. Notice none of these would intersect the graph in more than one point, therefore this function passes the horizontal line test as well meaning this graph is also a one-to-one -one function. So of all these graphs, this is the only one-to-one -one function. I hope these examples were helpful.